Ah, uh, hey guys, welcome back to my guide on Dark Souls. It's JV here, and today I have a very special guest. Um, this person is the reason for the V in my name. I, I just call her V for short. So I want you guys to welcome her. Hey V, say hello. Hey guys. Okay, so she be doing a we'll be doing a double commentary here. She she wanted to check out the game I was playing. So yeah. So basically, the swamp area is the most hated area in the game. I hate it. It poisons you. It got gonorrhea. It got gingivitis. It got all kind of disease in the swamp. I just got poisoned. See what I mean? Why do you have to roll like that? Why can't you just walk? Um, the the water is holding me back. The swamp. You can't run in mud. Mm. Uh, could you run in mud? No, I'll oh. fall on my ass. Oh yeah. yeah. You 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 do that even without the mud. So. <laughs> yeah anyway so yeah i just got two items over there i came to the bonfire to wash it up get that poison off me there's some slugs over here take out those things are nasty. yeah they are man but they're not too bad you take care of them pretty quickly i it's st i'm still using a plus four row infused claymore and i'm i would consider myself to be a little bit far in the game and it's still pretty much doing doing a great job um, so we come over here, there's an item over here, there's some slugs over there, baby, but we don't gotta mess with them. Mm -hmm. they, they too nasty for that. Mm. So yeah, we're rolling, rolling, I got my ass poisoned again. <laughs> got us some prison stones over here. Um, I have no strategy for this area other than to run around in it a little bit, play around in it until you get accustomed to the layout. There's a that's the shot over there. You definitely don't want to miss that. I came in the back here because I was wondering if I missed something, but I realized I didn't. So, this is really the path you want to stay on. That stairs leads upwards towards a... What do you call this thing where you... A chibney. Mm. To a chibney, and you got to out the fire. You got to out three of them in order to fight the boss. But we're not going there. We're going around it. Got some rotten pile resins, and as you can see, I'm basically just turning the camera. I'm looking for items. I'm not really sure where they are. I really, really don't like this area. Ah, oh, the slugs got me. This place looks so freaky. It is freaky, baby. It looks like Lion King from with um Scar, where he lived. This this looks like Lion King. <laughs> the, the outside part where um uh, Scar was where he lived. Scar lived in a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god baby you and i remember lion king a lot differently <laughs> anyway there's this guy no but i get you i get you the place is all dead and mm -hmm. and, and moist and stuff like that but i think in lion king it was dry yeah it was more like dry this guy could be really tough you really want to get the backstab it's a habit baby every enemy in this game is tough for me <laughs> because I'm not really that good. You get a sage coat. You want to get that. You give that to the blacksmith. He makes all kind of fancy stuff for you. So yeah, if we continue that way, we'll end up on the other side of the stairs that I was talking about earlier. So we're not going to go that way. We're going to head back this way. And um, we're going to go up this side of the stairs. And there's some more slugs. Hmm. So... Maybe how you think about how your boy playing so far. Am I the best in the world? Mm, you alright. Alright. Girl, I'm more than alright. I'm the best in the world, baby. Who's that man? That, that's a ninja. <laughs> um, I think it's called a guru or guru or something like that. I call them ninjas because they be jumping all over the place. Hitting you in your head. Yeah, so this guy's pretty easy. Get the backstab. I mean, everybody's pretty easy once you got a 100% block shield. Everything's easy. So this is the chip me I'm not talking about. And I tried to show you guys how it was up there, but it's not. So anyway, you put your hand in here and you take out the fire. I'm good. All right, so the fire's out. I skipped the cutscene. You can watch it if you want. I don't know. Uh, I've seen it a million times already. So I come around here and I know there's an item back here. I think I'm heading towards that man. This guy jumped out. He surprised me. Come on, kill him, kill him. <laughs> yeah, I got him, girl. 
<laughs> what are those things that look like um um crucifix something? Oh, I I don't know. I it's a theme in this area because the other area we came from not the cathedral of the deep the um the other area i think it was the crucifixion woods so i think that's a theme in this area i don't know why i don't know who be doing the crucifying <laughs> but <laughs> a lot and see this guy you gotta mm -hmm. sneak up on him he will rape you boom you got oh him my God, you, you hit him in the, in the ass <laughs> no, that wasn't intentional, baby. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> but anyway, you you do not want to engage that guy. He flips all over the place. He jumps all over the place. He jumps on your head. He smacks your booty. He he's really rough. So yeah, you pick up that tight night shot and you just walk down here, and you're gonna meet a ramp. There's a ramp here. You go to the top of the ramp and you get. What do you get? Some po purple poison moss thing, blah blah blah. Some weed, you get some weed. And then you come on this side and you get a great sword. And this was a weapon, I believe, from Dark Souls 2. I used to love using this weapon in Dark Souls 2. I never really tried it out in this one though. But yeah. Okay, over there, you, although you see some items over there, we're not going. What is that? Wolves? There. Huh? That's wolves? I told you that's the ninja things, man. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, you could say they're werewolves. Do they look like werewolves? Yeah, I guess you could call them werewolves. Yeah, so you take them out. The the ones on the ground aren't that tough. It's the ones that are standing on two feet. Those are the ones you want to worry about. So, anyway, we're not going to go for those items via that direction. We're going to go this direction. Now there are some enemies, oh, there, we're going to do something right now and I'm not sure if this is the most effective way to do this part but this is the way I like to do it, I, I guess I've grown accustomed to doing it so you take up some Titanite Shards, you make sure your bow is equipped and there are some huge monsters guarding a treasure over there and what you want to do is you want to shoot them with a the bow like that and then he's gonna come running. And then when he comes running, you run. <laughs> How do you know I was gonna run? <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> so yeah, you you run. You definitely run. But your objective is not to run. Your objective, I mean, of course, your objective is to run. But you want to get him to touch the fire because if you notice, he's taking damage every time he touches the fire. So I'm trying to get him to touch the fire and to stay in the fire to get damage while I'm just dodging his attacks. I'm not really doing a good job at dodging his attacks. Um, but yeah, you basically want to dodge his attacks and get him to run into the fire. He has these wide swings and look, he's dead. See? And you get the um, fat bow of the black bow of Ferris. That was quick. Yeah, it was quick because I used the fire. But if you actually try to fight that guy with the sword, um, he can mess you up, man. That was another one? Yeah, there are three of them. Oh. So um, it's the same strategy. It's the same strategy. I'm not, um, I'm not trying anything new. It's the same strategy. Get his butt to the fire and let, his ro and let him roast it. So yeah, I think this one went a little bit smoother. <laughs> I think. <laughs> so yeah. You I'm feeling hungry just watching him roast in the fire. <laughs> you always hungry, baby. <laughs> Don't use that as an excuse. <laughs> okay, so we got him in the fire. His booty's burning. You hot boy, you hot. Come on, get in the fire. Uh, I managed to dodge that time. Oh, he got a good chunk of damage in the fire. He keeps letting out these little red skull things and if all of them hits you uh, it could do it could do insane damage I guess but if, if you just run in circles you could dodge him so yeah he's out he gave me a hat two strikes one more to go mm-hmm one more to go so got him <laughs> he's coming <laughs> oh look how fast he runs <laughs> 
Yeah, so he's coming at me. He's coming at me hard. So yeah, yeah. same strategy as before. I think I messed up on this one though. I think out of the three of them, I I got the um, I got the second one the fastest. I think. Anyway, this is one way you could deal with them. There are other ways you could deal with them too. I know. Um, I only remember that after I recorded. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you if you think that this method is too hard, um, just wait till I get to the bonfire, the second bonfire, where I will show you where you can use this. Um, the second method, which probably is more effective. So yeah, I took him out. I got tired of waiting for him to run through the fire. So as you can see, I'm out of Estes. So we're in desperate need of a bonfire right now. So come down the side. Again, do not go up the ramp. Because when you go up the ramp, it will take you to that bridge over there. And there are three of the of the wolf ninjas of the, of the creatures up there. One of them um, casts poison while the others have spears. And you don't want to deal with that. There are two of them on the ground here. You don't need to deal with them. You just continue running this way. Don't go to for that item. Just keep running and holding against the right wall like what I'm doing here. And you come to a bridge. Well, a fallen bridge. You get the Titanite Shard. Hey, where'd you come from? Oh, these guys always sneak up on me. I don't know where they come from, man. What I, was that white thing? Oh, that was an item. It was a Titanite Shard. That's how the items in this game looks. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's... Yeah. I mean, I've <laughs> I've been picking them up for like the last 50 minutes <laughs> to think you would now notice. <laughs> I just observed it. Okay. But anyway, yeah. This is the bonfire. It's like a checkpoint. So yeah, I'm resting at the bonfire. Oh, I didn't rest at the bonfire, but basically those are the guys there. So I came back to... I came around here looking for items. I wasn't sure if there was one. Yeah, I knew I had to rest because I had no Estes. Yeah. So yeah, this is the other method I was talking about. So basically, um, in the other method, you want to come up the stairs. You want to take these guys out. Don't get your butt pooped like I did. Okay, oh my god, look at that. Look at that. They, they just whoop. Look at my health. <laughs> you play like crap. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, that 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 fountain of positivity coming out of your mouth. It's a compliment. It's a compliment. Yeah, yeah I play that crap. It's a compliment. It's positive. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, you take out your bow and you shoot them from the bridge. That's the second strategy. Um, it's it's effective. You don't have to go down there fight. You don't have to dodge. Actually, you still have to dodge the red orbs, but you just go. You just use your bow from up here. That's another strategy, other than the one I did. So. When you come across here, there's a chimney. There's some um, purple weed. And yeah, this is the stairs that leads to the fire. And that was the fire where I was burning them. Mm. So I just showed you guys how I just made a complete circle. Um, I spend a lot of time in this area just running around exploring because I don't like it. I don't like this area at all. And I, I guess you just get accustomed to it the more you play around in it. So that's my ultimate tip for this area. Just run around, play around in it, um, die, learn from your mistakes, and you should be able to to do it. Or you could follow me and learn from my mistakes and not to do what I did. Because um, as you can see, I play like crap. <laughs> uh, thank you for that, baby. And that is not constructive criticism, okay? That is just plain criticism. You do not put nice words in front of it to make it sound better. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so we're heading over here now to the left part of the swamp. And this guy came out of nowhere again. Two shots with the claymore. Right, so the, the big monsters, they respawned because I rest at the bonfire. So take this guy out. And uh, we're not going to interfere with them again. We're going to come here. We get a stage scroll. There's a guy with a shield. 
Take them out. And there's another guy with a shield. There he is. Oh, he just beat through that shield. Man. Yeah, and there's a bunch of dead mushroom people. Yeah, they were eating them. So yeah, you want to stick to the left wall until you come to this open area and then you want to make your way as quickly as you can to the tree. As you can see, I'm rolling. <laughs> Oh my god, and the crab's coming, I'm trying to get to the tree, ah, and I made it in time, because the reason why you want to get to this area is because there's a guy upstairs, up in the tower, who's shooting arrows at that thing. Mm. Yeah, as you can see, I could just stay right here and he would kill it, but I get cocky and I was, I was like, you know what, I want to go in for the finisher, I want to make this thing look good, and I got there too late and he slipped me. Oh, that's <laughs> a huge crab. Yeah, it, it is a huge crab. I'm seeing I'm seeing a crab now. You seeing for crab? Girl, we can't afford crab. <laughs> you could get some crab flavor. Curry crab. <laughs> Curry crab. Oh yeah. That that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so yeah, you pick up all the items you see. By this point, you just see something white and glowing. Go grab it. <laughs> Go grab it. Grab that. Grab that. And there's another werewolf over here. Take him out. Oh, there are two of them. Ah, he caught me by surprise. Boom, got him. See how easy that was, baby? And I the butt again? I, uh, that was an accident, okay? That. <laughs> It, I didn't Once is an accident, <laughs> twice no. <laughs> if you try to suggest something, girl, you 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 barking up the wrong tree, okay? <laughs> that is the way they made the game, okay? I did not design the game to send the sword through the booty. Okay, that's what they did. Maybe they were subliminally trying to say something, I don't know. But when you get the backstab, the sword goes through the booty. It's really a backstab. <laughs> So yeah, I, I have the Pyromancer of um, spell equip and I realized that I never used it. I really just had it equipped just in case. I mean, it, it, it's something there to use, you know. So I used it to clear out this room. Again, you could just run in R1, R1 and try to take them out that way. Yeah, you get them on their bone shot, that's what they're protecting. And around this part is where you're supposed to get invaded. There's a ladder going up there, but we ain't going up there yet. Yeah, there are more slugs. The nasty slugs. They swell up like they're going to explode and then they, they don't. So I, I thought, I figured that maybe they wanted to make them explode. That, that would have been a, a cool feature if they actually exploded after you killed them and poisoned you. And all the juice came out. Yeah, and all the juices came out. So yeah, you get a wolf grass. That's a covenant item. You, it's a pot here. You drink the stew. And you get a sunlight talisman. It's something that casts miracles, baby. We need to get one of that in real life because we need some miracles in our life. <laughs> I guess everybody does, right? So yeah, we're going to head over here. Get the Titanite Shard. Boom, boom. Slug, leave me alone. There's some fire over here, and there's a fire over here, and there's a big guy down there. Now, you, you c I could use the same strategy with the fire to kill him, but I don't really like fighting him, and I take too much damage, and I only have five Estes, so I come here quickly, grab the item, and run. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> and I pray he doesn't see me. I'm running. <laughs> I'm running. I'm running. Uh, he didn't see me. Ooh. Ooh. And I got the name last night. <laughs> he didn't see me, guys. He didn't see me. <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, I got invaded. Here, I have a whole bunch of souls. I get invaded. Now, this is an invasion you can't avoid. Right, it's a NPC invasion. Um, it's not. It's not online. 
I don't want to say you can't avoid it, but I mean it's an MPC invasion. They, they put it in the game, so yeah, you can enjoy the pleasures of getting your butt whooped by an MPC. So I'm waiting for him to come over here where there's dry land because I want to fight him on the dry land. Okay, I don't want to fight him in the swamp, but he's not coming. So I got no choice but to head out there and fight him in the swamp. And there he is, baby. You know they call this guy um, Yellowfinger? Is he Yellowfinger? Yeah, they call I'm not seeing anything on him yellow. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. He's invading right now, so everything about him would be red. But if he, if if I got his armor set, I think it is yellow. He looks like um, Pillsbury. <laughs> and the, the cake? Like the cake? The yeah. um, dough boy? Yeah. Oh yeah, the hat does look like a baker. I never noticed that. Um, oh, he got me. Oh, and then I, and then this guy saw us fighting and he wanted some action, so I gotta get out of there. Get out. I gotta get out. This guy's chasing me. Run, run. <laughs> run. And it's moments like this that separate the boys from the men in Dark Souls. Could you win in a clutch moment like this? I have three Estes, this big guy's on me. I'm going all in, y'all. So, as you can see, I'm taking my time. I'm not really rushing him. One, roll out. I think that's, don't get impatient. One, two, oh, I got impatient. I should have took through one. I should have gotten him with one strike, but, ah, uh, oh, he got me again and really, the mud's holding me back. Oh, he got me again. I'm really panicking now. Oh, two. I got him. I got him. Finally. What do you mean, finally? That wasn't, that wasn't easy. That I was, was long. I was celebrating. Look at me. I'm bowing. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, that level of skill is unheard of, baby. It's unheard of. Okay. The creators of this game is going to see this video and they're going to be like, Damn, that guy broke our game. He was supposed to die, but he didn't. See, I'm the best. Anyway, I run back to, um, <laughs> I run back to the bonfire because I have no Estes left. <laughs> uh, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen okay I was just supposed to kill the invader and then I was supposed to progress forward and out the third chimney in the area but it, it just happened that way so yeah I stopped because I wonder if I should go back to filing shrines and level up my souls and use up my souls to level up like a chicken I said you know what I ain't no chicken I'm gonna go you're a bird <laughs> I ain't no chicken, I'm a bird. <laughs> what kind of bird? Hummingbird. Oh, a hummingbird? I thought you were going to say something fierce like an eagle. Or, or, or a vulture? A vulture or an ostrich or something. You said an, a, a what? A hummingbird? hummingbird? A hummingbird ain't tough. He fast though, but he ain't tough. Yeah, these guys, I don't like these guys. I always have trouble with these guys. Um, it, I always have trouble with these guys. Um, they blow a kind of smoke on you and it gets you so high that you get paralyzed and it's you like weed? yeah it, it, it's like weed cocaine Can heroin molly it's like all the drugs you could think about in your nostrils at the same time it gets you so high you turn into stone and you die <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at look at there he is look at the eyes on that thing you can tell it's high by its eyes mm. <laughs> Its eyes literally exploded after it consumed that. So yeah, I'm just staying out of the smoke. G oh, got him. Oh, that was close. That was clutch. I, I don't like fighting those things at all. They're called basilisk, I think. But I do not like them at all. They always hurt me. So yeah, then I remembered I had the dagger and I could use the dagger to get through the pond. I did that in the previous videos and then I forgot about it in this one. And I was like, come on, man. Okay, 
This is the guy, the ninja guy I was talking about. I have no choice but to fight him head on here. And you get an example of the things he does. He jumps up into the air. He attacks. He jumps again. Like, oh my god. Then he tries to grab me. I gotta drink some juice. He jumps on me again. He jumps on me again. <laughs> oh my god. He's very springy. Yeah, he's springy, alright. <laughs> oh my god. His hydraulics is working. No, but it, it's it's tough, okay? There's, I have no strategy for that guy other than to pray you win. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. You gotta mash R1 and hope you win. So yeah, this is the third chip me. Once you add that chip me, um, that's it. You can now officially f um, face the boss. There's a guy blowing a horn outside. I don't know what that's about. So yeah, ice cream. Okay. Yeah. So I just went down the stairs to show you. Run around here. You get some gold coins. I went down the stairs to show you that um, that 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 giant tree monster I ran from earlier. <laughs> Um, that's where he is. So yeah. You want to come this way. It's safer this way. It's safer this way. And then we come down here. And we go through in the back here. And there's only one item in this area. I, I explored in the back there earlier and I didn't get anything. So you want to get the soul pack and there's no items in the back there. At least on this play, on this new game playthrough, I don't know if in new game plus there's something back there. I think there is, but in new game, there is nothing back there. So you get the soul pack and you come this way, and there's some more high lizards. These are some lizards. The big eyes, babe. They kind of look like you, don't they? No, they look like you. My eyes ain't that big. Your eyes are big. Your head. Okay, my head is big, but my eyes ain't big. They got big eyes. If if we see a big head enemy, okay. Your I, eyes are as big as your head. How the hell my eyes are as big as my head? <laughs> well, their head. Oh, okay. I mean, their eyes are as big as your head. Uh, uh, pfft, I'm lost. <laughs> anyway, you got big eyes. They look like you. Whatever. <laughs> oh, God. I love you girl. You got no comeback skills at all. So you come in here, you get a golden scroll and then you open up this chest and you get uh armor set. I don't know what the name of the armor set. It never used it. I don't think it's important. It's just there. So get it. And before we go back to filing shrine and do everything we're supposed to do before the boss, we're gonna go up that ladder now. We're gonna fully explore the area before we head back to Filing Shrine. I have 34,000 souls on me approximately and I ain't afraid to lose it. In this game, if you die, you you have a chance of losing all the points you've made so far. So I'm, I'm really living on the edge here, baby. I'm taking a risk because I'm going to a new area and I'm going to have to fight a really big monster. So you see how dangerous I like to live? You see how dangerous I am? I'm mm. a man of danger, girl. Look at that. I ain't, I ain't had no fear of losing my souls. That's how bad I am. <laughs> you should see the look she's giving me right now. It's <laughs> like... <laughs> it's like, yeah, you a man of danger. A cockroach fly in this room right now. We see how much you a man of danger. <laughs> I'm a sneak. Oh, a snake. I don't afraid snakes. I'm not afraid of snakes. I just don't like them very much. Whatever you say. So yeah, you light that bonfire back to the walkthrough. You light that bonfire, you come up here, and there's a lizard. And you kill those lizards. Oh, it's so cute. It's cute, but it's got goodies. Kill him? It has goodies. I got a twinkling titan eye, and I want like that. It's like an iguana. It's, yeah, it's a, it looks like an iguana. You get ashes here and you have you want to give that ash to the shrine maiden as soon as you get back to fighting shrine don't forget to do that um join the covenant you get a um gesture you also get a trophy for joining the covenant yeah 
Right, and that's it. We're not going to level up the covenants yet. I'll show you guys. Um, like maybe at the end of the walkthrough. I, I will upload a video showing you. What's the best places to farm each of the covenant items. So if you want to platinum the game offline. Um, it, there's a simple way to do it. You don't have to go online. You don't have to PvP. Yeah. So anyway you come up here. And. Where is it? Oh, he's not over here. He's over there. That's the guy. Look at him. He's tough. He is legitimately tough. He has one attack that if you stay in front of him, he is going to grab you and he's going to throw you off the edge. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a one shot. <coughs> so my strategy is simply stay in the back and snag the booty. He's fast. Yeah, snag the booty. He hits you with the tail. He has a tail attack to compensate for you being in the back all the time. And he has the butt slam. But I don't care if I get hit by the tail. It's not a big problem. As, as long as he doesn't grab me, that's all I'm concerned about. Don't let him grab you. Stay in the back. Um, if you gotta get take the hit from the tail, take the hit from the tail. Don't let him grab you. Okay. Try to dodge as good as I can. That was a pretty good dodge. So anyway, boom, 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 he's dead. Just like that. Dangerously. Look at that. I'm up to 40,000 souls. I'm living dangerously, girl. You, you get his soul, you get a great axe. Um, the great axe was the item on the ground, by the way. He doesn't drop it. So yeah, you get the great axe, you get some embers, and then we're going this way. Uh... Do you remember in, I don't know if you remember V, that in one of the videos I made earlier, um, I was showing you this bridge in the distance and it looked like part of the scenery and I told you that I would be able to go there. So this is the bridge that we were looking at. I don't know if you remember that. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. You were watching makeup videos and now so why would you take me seriously? Oh, <laughs> look at that view. That's mm -hmm. the ocean there, girl. That's the ocean. We went to the ocean yesterday. We had fun. Did we have fun? Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was awesome. There was some tiny fishes swimming around our feet. We had some huge ones around ours. Yeah. So yeah, you run far, you take out this guy, boom, he's out. That's one lizard down, you get a large shot, and then you run and you take out the second one, boom. Boom. He's out. That's another large shot. You pick up this, it is a sh lightning spear. It is a lightning spear. I thought it was a dragon crest shield, but I think this one over here is a dragon crest shield. Yeah, that's a dragon crest shield. It's a crest shield, basically it has a 100% block, it has good stability, and this one, the dragon one, is extremely resistant to fire. So if you're fighting a fire enemy, and you want to block fire damage or minimate, that's the shield you gotta use. So yeah. Use the heavy gem, take him out. No, why do I say use the heavy gem? You kill the crystal lizard, it drops a heavy gem, and I take these guys out. At this point, I'm just, you know, I'm just being a punk. I don't have to take these guys out, they're not bothering me. Yeah, but I just feel the need to. So you yeah, take out that guy before he screams and wakes everybody up. The spear guy, I tried to parry. Try to look like a boss, end up looking like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried it, I tried it. Can't blame a man for trying. Drop down here. You don't have to drop down. Oh my god. I now realize I didn't have to drop down. I almost killed myself for no reason. I'm pretty much done with this area now. I could head back to the shrine. Yeah, I, I, that's it. I cleared the entire area. So back at the shrine, we're going to do all Fire Link Shrine stuff. Starting with, we're going to run. And we're going to give this lady the ashes. Give ash, ash give her the ash. She got the ash. Tell her where you found them. Oh, yes. it would. Right. And this is... Well... When you give her ash, she says new stuff. But by giving her the ash, it, it ties into a quest line. An NPC will appear in Fire Lake Shrine after you give her the ash. So you want that?
give him the cold and the Esther shot. So I give him the Esther shot first and then I give him the Sage cold. So check, check. I make sure it's on 10. I make sure it's allotted. Hey, be careful. Good. I we have nothing to do with Grey Rat yet, so we come this way. Talk. I talk to him, but we have nothing to do with him yet. <laughs> I don't have any Pyromancer Scrolls yet. I already gave him one. So yeah, you come here and you give this guy the Sorcerer Scroll. Make sure you give him the Sorcerer Scroll so he can learn some sorcery. And if you're going for the Platinum, you're going to have to buy every magic spell in the game. And yeah. So you have to give him the scroll so he can learn some of these spells so that you can buy them so that you could get the trophy for having every spell in the game. I don't think so yeah, I exhausted dialogue. It's, it's just a habit, I guess. Right, so I was wondering, okay, I have nothing to do with the girl in the back there or Yuria. So I'm checking through my inventory and boom, I still have the transposing Ken. So yeah, we're going to go give the guy that. And I don't think for the entire um, playthrough this far, I didn't speak to that guy yet. I didn't show you this NPC, but basically it's a guy sitting on a chair up there. Burn the undead, burn... Burn the damn thing. <laughs> Girl, you distracted me. Why are you doing that? Anyway, burn the shard thing. It's not a shard. Let's burn it and you get something. Okay, so... <laughs> Anyway, we head up here and and uh, we drop down here and there's that guy sitting on the throne. He's a mm. king. He's King Scalawag. Give him the transposing can. And what that does is that you can now make weapons and sorcery from boss souls. And I give him that because I want to make the Havel Ring. The Havel Ring is very useful for what I am trying to do. It's a new build I'm trying. I've never done this before. I'm not sure if it's going to be effective, if it's going to work. Um, but I'm trying something new for the first time and I want to see if it works. Mm. So yeah, and I need the Havel Ring for that. So, and that's it. We give him the Havel Ring, we burned the shard, we made sure we had everything equipped. I equipped the Havel Ring. And that's it. We, we're, <laughs> we're practically done. We're, we're practically... Um, I was trying to find my bow to equip it back. Where was my bow? Oh, there it is. Yeah, and we're done. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough so far. Um, I hope you enjoyed my guest. I'm hoping to do a lot more videos with her if she's patient and willing. But anyway, guys, I would see you around. Please remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, uh guys. It was nice. Yeah, bye. <laughs> okay. So bye guys, we'll see you around.